We're doing the, the um, Poets Diner, which is uh, delivering poetry tableside to people. There's a menu uh, of poetry that you order from, and then my students come over and deliver those poems. Small, small smiles appear, only ever inspired by my computer. And people feel pity for girls with internet friends, but really, it's not that bad. Um, so I'm Mackenzie Taylor. Here's the second part of your haiku sampler. Rap, violent video games, texting, sexting, grinding, kids these days. Young and in love. You aren't soulmates, just an oxymoronic cliche. Thank you. She adjusts herself slightly, so I steal the moment to make my move. A tree grows. It is my hopeful dreams. Oh no, here comes a lumberjack. <laughs> we are alone in the singular universe. Be an observer. I drink coffee in lieu of essential things, like sleeping and kindness. She takes the key as she knows the door will be locked. But upon facing the curious threshold, she has forgotten entirely the purpose and presence of the key. A barrier stands between her and an instinctual desire to take a big gulp. Let it intoxicate her, to drink up the irreplaceable knowledge that only an inanimate board of lumber could share with her if they had a conversation over coffee. The key in the lock is not a man inside a woman, rather a human pulse in a skeletal cage. The same blood-red organ she mistakes for the epicenter of human emotion and her humanity. The door slams shut silently. The key sits contently in the lock. Um, it's a blast. We have a great time. We're going to do it again in April, too. So at the end of April, we're going to do this again. So that way we can go outside and people can sit underneath the stars. And have a lot of fun. But we're... Um, my kids are always amazing. They always amaze me. My students just amaze me. Every time. I, I just, I love what I do. I love. You've got to change the world and show you've got more to you. Behind the door, there are.